Hello, in this video I'll show you a demo of making SSH connections from Windows 10 using Mobile Xterm. First, you need to download Mobile Xterm app which you can easily find from Google. You can download the home edition, either portable edition or installer edition. Installer edition requires admin privileges, portable edition does not. Once you download and install either version, you can search for Mobile Xterm from the start app and simply launch the app should be launching now there you go once it's launched now depending on whether you want to connect from off campus or on campus and depending on which server you, you can connect to you want to connect to you might have to launch a VPN here I'm connecting to a VPN using global protect to uwmadison.vpn.vis.edu using my uwnet ID Once the VPN is connected, you can start a local terminal and you can SSH into a, a server. You need to know the IP address or the name. Here I'm using the IP address. And there you go. You can SSH, you established an SSH connection to a server. You can do all sorts of simple things. Now you can also establish shortcuts by editing your bash RC and establishing an alias. And then you have to source your bash rc and then all i have to do is just type the alias it would open an ssh connection let me type the password so i'm going to type it again there you go now if you prefer a graphical shortcut uh, for an SSH connection, you can also do that by clicking the session, clicking the SSH, typing the IP address, and specifying a username. And you have to go to SSH and then say make sure X forwarding is checked and compression is checked. You can go to the bookmark settings and give it a readable name for example I'm gonna say an Atelier Bender and then you can see that there's a bookmark here I'm gonna close this window and then I just want to show you that if you just click this book double click this bookmark it will just open up the SSH connection and I can type the password and I am logged in thank you for watching the video